we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not, not even my dad walk on. Man, hey, man. I'm blessed, man. I, I, you know, this guy right here, every time, this is his third time on the show, but he really only been seen once on it. Mm-hmm. But we enjoyed it every time. Jordan Jackson in the building. In the building. Appreciate y'all having me. Man, real, though. listen, man. We got to finally see you. In stand up in Houston, man. That was the first time that we seen you in it, doing stand up. We mm-hmm. came, we met you at Atlanta. We was in Atlanta. We was at the uh, Atlanta Comedy Club. Mm-hmm. That's where we first met. But you didn't perform. But that you night. didn't perform. He was just sitting back, chilling, watching everything, sitting there. I think it was that other dude there too. The guy, the big guy with the bad eye. What's his name? Uh, the big, big guy horn? with the bad eye, the one that uh uh be with Fifty Cent used to be with Fifty Cent. Oh yeah, my man uh uh, uh Jack uh Jack Thriller. Thriller yeah. He was there that night, and I was like, dang man, it's popping down here. That was my first time at that place, man. But it was a dope setup, man. But I was like, dang, we got to see him. Mm-hmm. And God made a way when we went down to Houston. We was invited by Mike. Won't he do it? He'll do it every time. <laughs> I already and, done it. And you know what? We just left L.A. and we was in L.A. We did uh Ron G. Mm-hmm. We, you know, the one that was oh, with y'all yeah, that night. Yeah, we interviewed us. him mm-hmm. when we was in LA. Really? I'm yeah. not playing. So we That's really, we, we going through the whole, and I, you know, I got some stuff coming up in a couple of weeks, so I'll be in Atlanta. I'm getting everybody on the camp. Watch what I tell you. Come on, man. man. Shout out to Boss Talk 101, showing nothing but love to comedians, actors, anybody that's out there. I love this show. I will always do it, no matter what. That's why I'm, it's being recorded right now. Jordan Jackson will come back every time. <laughs> Let's get it. Man, see, that, and that's what I love about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The fact that when we first asked you to come, uh, you was on time that day. You was on time today. You was on time every time. That's Have you ever been late anywhere? No, I don't play those games because, you know, you got to respect people's time because I definitely want them to respect mine. I love so it. So when it comes to that, you, you tell me how you feel about me when you show up on time. If you just come up like you're doing me a favor, I, I don't need that energy in, mm-hmm. in nothing I'm doing. Bro, every time you was on time, you was al- always... The, you know that it was it was the spirit of God that was with you because you always came. You dropped, you dropped jewels, man. Um, just the whole situation of every time we met you made us feel like, hey, man, you know, we, it was respect. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. So what did you see when you seen him? He was acting a damn fool up there at that uh, <laughs> on that stage. He did the, the JJ thing. It was all kind of stuff going on up there, man. How, did, how long? Let it, me tell y'all, if y'all have not seen him energy. in person... <laughs> I mean, like, it's totally different from what I see on the internet. It was, it, it's a different type of comedy to me. It was just way funnier to me. Right. Okay. I love to watch you on the internet, but that was like, y'all got to see him live and in person. You have to, have to. When are you going to do your own show? Soon, you know, we got some stuff in, you know, in the oven. That's what people always say when they really don't know what's going on. <laughs> we got some stuff, you know, got some skills in the fire, you know, but, you know, we working on stuff. We don't go back on tour and uh, to February, so you know I got to so put you know. So in between then and now, yep, you're gonna st- just doing okay. shows everywhere I cool. can. So what, who are who are some, like some people you see them in the crowd just checking things out? Who are some of the people that's gonna sit and watch you? I know you said Cat Williams was one of them. Didn't he say last mm-hmm. time? Is anybody else that kind of in the comic comedian world that's kind of just you know you've seen and kind of learned stuff from? Oh yeah, uh, Zoo Man Miller, uh, uh, my boy. I mean, it's so many different people there, but Zoo Man is one of the biggest influencers. Country Wayne, of course. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We talk comedy every day for hours at a time. Um, and, you know, a few other people when we're actually um, at shows that'll come back and give me feedback. But, you know, the stand-up world definitely is a different mm-hmm. world uh, from the skits. But I knew that social media was blowing up. So a lot of people think that I started doing the social media That's and then started wondering. doing stand-up. But you started so stand up first. I was already doing stand up, but wow. I know who's gonna care about what I'm talking about if I'm not known. Right. So I decided to go ahead and push the social media, and then surprise people because a lot of people will come to my open mics in Atlanta and just see me working on material. So no one ever got to see me in Atlanta. They see me at the Fox Theater with Country Wayne, and all of a sudden they were like, 
Mm. Whoa, mm. they didn't expect that, which is that's how I want it anyway. Mm -hmm. Man, I, I just I know when I seen you guys on stage, man, you definitely look like, hey, man, I'm where I'm supposed to be. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I I sit there. I watch. It was like thirty seven hundred seats. You know, I didn't count them, but you know, I'm asking. Yeah, oh no, I googled thing. it. I'm like, <laughs> how many seats is in this? It was like in the three, eight. In right. The eight don't play. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to come on with it. They do not care about no fame. You have to be funny in Atlanta. So to 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 be validated, you know, at the Fox Theater, and to be able to 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 lay it down like that, man, was just you know just super super exciting for all the hard work I put in. But you say you have to be that A don't play, okay? So what do you think about Ti with his comedy? Because Damn. he's in the A, and I've heard two different sides of it. Well, what do you think about his comedy? Well, being as a comic who um really just. Don't want to say nothing bad about the yeah, because I might get a chance to do it. Well, <laughs> I'm going to say, man, you know, he's pushing hard. He's doing what he needs to do. And it takes time. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure he didn't become one of the hottest rappers in the South just like that. Anything that you do, any art form that you get in, right. you got to put in the work. So if he continues to do that, eventually he's going to get better. But right. I don't, this is the only game that you cannot cheat. You know what I'm saying? You have to put in the work. And your fame will give you a little bit of um, Leverage. a leniency for about seven to eight minutes. But at that, it's like, okay, what you got, bro? You know what I'm saying? Okay, we done, we, you know you're famous, but we need some material. We need some jokes. Hey, I can tell you, man, you know, I don't know how he's scaling it, but, you know, the ticket prices that we've uh They're seen, not cheap. We, we got right. some tickets to see him. You know, his ticket prices, uh, they, uh, yeah. But yeah. let's look behind that, though. Let's look at the fact, okay, there's a lot of people saying, well, you know, T.I. is, is taking, taking money without that. He shouldn't be, you know, in this field that he decided he wanted to go in. But you also got to look at the fact that he is giving other comedians work, giving That's them right. an opportunity That's exactly that, they, right. you know, that they might not have had otherwise. So mm -hmm. you got to look at the good and the bad. He decided that he wants to do it, but he's bringing people with him. So you got to take cool. your hat off to that. I like That's it. Cool. I like so it. So my question is, because you're a person who do the skits and you do stand up but you say you started stand-up first how hard is it to start with stand-up first and then gravitate to the skits because it's sort of a little bit different mm -hmm. and then i've heard some people who only do skits who've never done stand-up and is scared out of their mind to even go do stand-up how hard is it to convert from one to the other whichever way it goes well it's easy for me because i'm a writer so basically any any of the uh, material that i have to write on my own it, it's the same thing when i do a skit because i make sure that i have a premise you know what I'm saying? That's going to be relatable first, not funny. You know, a lot of people try to go to the funny too fast and then you lose your audience. So I look at a good premise that everyone, not one category of people, that everyone can relate to. And that's why I'm averaging about between 30 and 35 million views per month wow. because I'm making sure that I don't cut anybody out. I'm making sure that the relatability is there. So once you do that, it's all it's all in your pen. It's all in writing. So all your skits you write? Yeah, you have to. You have to. So you you don't do any impromptu skits. Oh like, no no no! But when I say right, when you say right, it's explain the actual that premise. And I, what I'll do is I'll take uh, someone that I know that has the talent. And I'll just tell them what to say. You know what I'm saying? To make sure the video, and then you know I'll have to direct it and film it. But it's going to be a great product when it's done. Or if I'm working with you know with some of the people that I work with, like Kelly Kells, uh, Cheap Nass Myron, uh, my boy Munchies. Those people are already comedians, so their timing is already going to be good. Mm -hmm. So basically, all I got to do is do the premise, be listening while we're filming, not cutting everybody off, not trying to be like, hey, look at me, but right. making sure that the skit is something that everyone can enjoy. And so I've had a lot, um, a lot of success with that because I'm working with people that I actually know. So it's easier mm -hmm. to get that vibe. Because the going. chemistry, it has the chemistry to is important. That's very the biggest important. word. And then you've had, you've been in film before. Right. So what is the difference between doing your skits and if you're going to be in a comedy, a movie? Now, that, that's a great question. And the answer to that is it's a little bit more difficult because it's easier for me to take my words and make that believable. But now that I have to take somebody else's, else's words, words. It, it, it takes a minute. Like when I have to cold read for parts and stuff like that, it takes me a little minute. Once I get it, then I can put my own emotion into that. Wow. But as far as I wrote it, then I already know what the emotion is because I'm the one who put it together. Mm. Right. So it is, it's, it's a huge difference. And if anyone who thinks that you're going to go straight 
from skits into movies and there's not a difference you're for rude awakening because it is a huge there's so much stuff that you got to break down i've been with acting coaches in la showing you you know different moods that you got to have with different sentences mm -hmm. and all. i ain't know nothing about that i said how could it be i'm natural people gonna know right you have to respect the art so it's of hard. actors it is very hard man you know when i had mike on there last time he, he was one of those guys that basically um was acting you know before as well and you guys got a hell of a team you know the way you guys do the country wayne uh skits with him and then you do your own thing you know right. individually and i don't think people understand how powerful it is that you have your own individuality within also doing that with him right. i think that's dope man oh it's super dope and the fact that country wayne encouraged that you know hey Go out here. You got what you got with me, but go out, build your own. And at first, you know, I was like, no, nah, man, you know what I'm saying? Just, you, you know, I was wanting him just to put me in everything. But he's like, no, nah, you're not going to respect that as much as if you go out there. You know, we didn't talk about it. And he was like, yeah, go ahead and do it. He said, I know right now it seems like it's hard, but you're going to appreciate it more if you build it on your own. And then being able to link with Mike Bless, which Mike Bless has got a heart of gold. Like he's he's encouraging you to but he said mm -hmm. the same thing that you said. He'd never seen me perform right. stand up. So he pulled me after the first show he seen. Mm -hmm. He's like, bro, he said, now, I done seen you in your skits. And he said, the skits is good. But he's like, this stand up, bro? Yeah. He's like, boy, I never expected that. He said, I'm not yeah. going to lie. I never expected you that yeah. you were going to be that good. Yeah. Man, he definitely, uh, he, he definitely uh, spoke uh, highly, you know, of you when he was here. And just, yo, the way that you commit to com comedy. The way that you, you know what I mean? You give your all. And I thought that was dope that he recognized that in you. He like, oh, yeah. He don't play with that comedy. He's serious. His life, he put everything into it. And I thought that was loud. I'm like, man, for him to even notice that. Oh, yeah. Come and on, it's man. important. It's important that people uh, believe in you as much as you believe in yourself. Because there's a lot of comedians um, that were telling Country Wayne when he put me on. A lot of them like, oh, man, we know dudes that are funnier than him. We know, why would you use him? First show, I went out there, bomb. That's what he said. That's what <laughs> he said, about, right? I'm talking about bomb, bomb. I'm talking about, <laughs> like, about crickets. You coming back. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, I'm fired like that. Uh. And then, uh, you know, so, you know, I didn't even look at him. I went to get my check. I was just like, all right, man, I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, we got some more shows in Memphis. So I'm like, we do? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was, show, I was a show thinking I'm gone. We I go to Memphis. He's like, listen, yeah. man, mm -hmm. tell these people, tell these people that I'm the one who put you on, man. I take my testimony in the beginning, you know what I'm saying, until I'm so happy and, and just uh, uh, that somebody believed in me and gave me an opportunity. And from then on, the bomb was over with. It was just a learning and process. But what people don't understand about Country Wayne is the fact that his work ethic is so big. Like, he literally could chill. The dude's a millionaire. Yeah. Right. And I ain't talking about a millionaire that people talking to him. I'm talking about that I've seen. Right. Like people Heavy. say they got it all the Heavy. time. Mm -hmm. Right. So when I see a man like that working so hard and they really can kick back, that's going to transcend into your team because everybody mm -hmm. knows that if you work is just as hard, your day is coming too. Definitely. Put in that work. Man. But I want to know, so um, you were talking about that you bombed before. Do you believe that every single comedian who do stand-up for the first time, not that has bombed at one time or the other in their career? Um, I'm pretty sure. I mean, that's hard to say because, you know, there's some maybe who, who, who didn't bomb. All I know is I bombed. Every, I bombed for a year straight and no. I was there yes I did and I came to every show Zoo a Man year Miller, straight Keanu Nancy put me up on that stage every time you know Zoo Man even when he was at the show he's like well you know he's gonna get it next week you know hopefully he'll have it before he get back <laughs> <laughs> but, but they they were they took me under the wing because they knew my writing was good I just didn't know anything about timing you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying so I but I didn't let that deter me I so was timing there is every important. week bombing Timing yeah, is very timing important. Is very important. Of course it is. But, you know, how are you going to know? You know, I'm just up there shaking in my boots just trying right. to get people to enjoy me. That's what I would think. You go up there and just tell a joke and, you know, you hit or you miss. Is it? Man, you know, um, and, and here's the question, right? It's mm -hmm. coming. It's always coming. This is the big question. That go ahead. This show has been, I went to L.A. asked this question, but it was all behind Phase on Love. Mm -hmm. And Faison came on here. Now, that's, I think, that's why Mike ended up on the show because mm -hmm. he wanted to state the fact of, who Country Wayne was, you know, far as his comedy. Because when it hit the airways, it was like, I asked Faison, I was like, man, you know, that, uh, I said, man, you know, I said, they're finding a new wave. 
And I said, basically, I say, the internet, you know, they're, they're, they're doing their thing on the mm -hmm. internet comedy. And he said, no, nah, no, nah, that's some other shit, you know, and he talked about the residuals. I ask this question every time now because I feel like the conversation need to be had sure. and people need to understand it. Only way you're going to bridge the gap is to talk about it and come up with a solution. H how do you feel about the fact of the old versus the new? You've done it both ways as well. Mm -hmm. How do you, do you think that the old way is better or is the new way better or are they both the same as far as the old, you know, the way that the traditional, uh, the, the phase on love, the movies, the residuals versus the country Wayne being an uh, internet sensation um, that's doing crazy numbers that we're hearing. We're hearing this, these numbers are crazy, but others on this side are saying, we don't even know what that is but, if that's right. even but comedy. But before you answer that question, um, do you make residuals off of anything that you do? Yeah, that's how we get paid. <laughs> it's, it's, it's residuals. Okay, I'm just so, checking because yeah, a lot of times people don't understand that. They, how? Explain how, that. How? Because then you. Oh, well, Facebook is paying you while you're sleeping. <laughs> you know what right. I'm saying? That money is is being turned over every time. Once you post a video and you're monetized on any of your platforms, that right there is your residuals, and it's better residuals than it because that show has to come back on in order for you. So one might come on this month. Next month, in my life, our stuff is rolling 365 days. Yeah, but but Columbus say Columbus Trust said that's not residuals. He said uh, residual. Well, he said no, because his residuals. <laughs> no, he said residuals is something that can what take that care can of your pay family, your kids, kids. For it's the something that that's what he's saying. They keep getting then it's residuals. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but let me ask you a question. Okay, you say you're getting residuals, but let me go into um, what's that man name? I know this name that um, passed away the other day. He talked about women like Kevin Chris. Samuels. Kevin Samuels. Mm -hmm. Okay, he was making a lot of money off Definitely. of the internet. Mm -hmm. He passed away, and videos are still being watched over and over and over. Somebody's again. in on that um, estate. Will that money go to his kids, kids, and kids? And of course, the money's still going as long as he, you know, left, <laughs> you know, specific details in his will of, of where that go because it's still going into his account. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It goes directly into your account. So of course, his kids are going to get. And that's the beautiful thing about it. Okay, something happens to me. My videos are still there. It's still rotating. I'm still, I don't understand how you can say that that's not residuals. Well, that's what Faison says and that's what Columbus says. Well, they, 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 because I guess because their world is different when you come to residuals and you look at the budgets that they made their big movies on, whether it be Congratulations. Any, you see what I'm saying? They Congratu still got big checks coming every six months, right? Okay, right. Yeah. Congratulations to that. But mine ain't no every six months. It's every month. And the bottom line is there's no wrong way when it comes to doing right. doing what we're doing. The, my thing is, why wouldn't you take advantage? If, I sh if, I, if I'm in a big movie, okay, I'm going to be hot if I'm lucky. Let's just go at the long, at the, maybe a year. And that's stretching it, okay? Whereas you go to the social media platform, I'm able to to build my own television network, my own audience, my own. I don't have to wait on anybody else to build me. I can build myself, yeah. okay? So let me think about this. It, what happens if I'm in this movie where I'm hot for a year and I'm building my own? I can't lose. Can't exactly. lose. So why wouldn't the old school decide to say, okay, I'm gonna make both of these money. Exactly. That's both what I've always, we've always it said that. It makes more sense, and they're known already. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Those type, type of people that I would love to work with, your face is already out there. Exactly. Let's get to work. So and the difference you, you is- You don't want this money? You don't want $50,000 a month? You don't want that? And they would blow up even more, because to me, when you see a person in a movie, you're just seeing that character that they're playing. But when you're actually on social media, doing different you're things- building you. Building you, and people can get That's more right. close to you. That's they so they can feel like they know you without knowing yeah. you. So you, you do a show, I mean? they come into that show because I can't. Exactly. Jordan Jackson's in town, I got to go. That's my friend, because I'm connected to him. The movie, they're connected to the character. The character. Yeah, but you know, Will Ferrell is not hurting. Of course not. Well, well there's a bunch well, of Pharaoh people who's is not, not hurting. Phase on with what I just seen with I. What does that have anything about her? They're not hurting. Trump proved that you ain't got enough money. Okay, so <laughs> exactly. it, don't, it don't matter if you ain't hurting. That don't that don't mean nothing. You who don't want some more money? Okay, if you if, 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 if all the people that ain't hurting, you gonna tell me I got a million, so I don't want another million? You gonna say that I'm making fifty thousand, so I don't want another fifty thousand just to do the thing that I love, just to be myself? That makes no sense. But some people. I think the reason, a couple of reasons why they don't do it. 
Some people just don't know how to work internet, number one. Number two, yeah, somebody who does. Number two, yeah. they're like, they prefer, they're more comfortable than just playing a character and turn it off and they're done with all of that sort of stuff. They can go live their regular life because these celebrities, imagine you're a person that can't even walk outside your house without TMZ or whoever hounding you and all well, of that. I mean, so they, that's they, happen. they <laughs> I mean, probably just decided, don't. They probably just yeah. don't want yeah, to even have to deal to get with that. Into it, but that doesn't make sense though that you that you're not comfortable because you're doing a character in that movie, and if basically you're going to let people connect with you because all that's doing is building your brand, unless you're saying that you're acting not to build the brand, and if you're not building the brand, how are you getting the roles? Like you, it, it's all connected. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, it 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 makes no sense to me. That you would, you're gonna say because think about it. If Chris Tucker or or Michael Jackson had an Instagram or or, or Facebook back in the day, how big do you think that would have been? Man, you know, it would have broke huge. the internet. It broke when when I see Chris Tucker when he was high. So I, another question I was wondering about because with Facebook, Instagram, and you know this has been going on for years. But when you think about MySpace, MySpace was here and then it's gone. So what happens to your residuals and all of that when? something else comes up and that's hot and Facebook oh, is yeah, gone yeah. or Instagram is gone? We, we all know that's a good question, but it's not in void. Okay, Facebook <laughs> ain't going nowhere. See, MySpace was basically a, a different type of thing because it wasn't family. Like, you got to remember, Facebook is so that we can connect to our friends and mm -hmm. to our family. Mm -hmm. Now, they were able to monetize that and turn it into money, but no matter what, even if you take away advertising and monetizing, Facebook ain't going nowhere because there's going to be people. And as long as there's people, there's always going to be money. That's why television has went anywhere. A lot of people aren't watching um, television like they used to, but there's enough people that are still watching it for to you to actually going. make money. Movies are not as big anymore because people are watching them on their phone. The big screen is the small screen. Right. You know what I'm saying? People are watching on it. But guess what? Movie theaters are still putting in putting movies. In. You're still going to have yeah. to catch a Marvel movie in the theater because you have to share the space now where you didn't have to share that space at first. But now there's so many different, but everyone's trying to get a piece of that. But, but no one's going to mess with the big three. You know what I'm saying? YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. But, you know what I'm saying? And the rest of them will fall in as they can. TikTok mm -hmm. is trying to get a share of the market. Right. But we know what it is. And Facebook is coming. <laughs> They're coming trying when to I, get it. The whole space. I, well, you look at, like I said, I always bring up Will Smith because before he did the famous slap and all that he was doing it he was he was figuring it all out that whole world out the movies his wife doing what she was doing on Direct doing on face mm -hmm. face facebook. facebook when you look at that he was really i was like he got it you know he's got this whole thing working but then you know the slap came and it kind of threw him off from what he was dealing with kind of no, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that, that, that caused him a lot a lot like, yeah. so when you look at when you look at that and then you see these worlds let me ask you something when you in the like when you doing when you're comedy or, or when you when you around these certain comedians I know y'all all it's all love but do you did you really do you realize that that world exists where some don't rock with the guys that do the internet thing versus the ones that's traditional that feel right. like but did I've you know seen, that did you know it was a gap there of course okay. but I've also seen him that gap is getting closer and closer because mm -hmm. there people are understanding I think it's you know we, we always veer back from something that we don't understand you know what I'm saying if you actually talk to someone who does it and you look back and you're like okay here's XYZ this is why you need to do it if you're if you're a manager and you have a client of course you're gonna tell your client to do social media. Now, if he doesn't wanna do it, that's fine. But he's still going to eat. But why wouldn't you wanna eat more? more. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because there's so many people that are out there who may not have heard of you. You know, you've got a core base of people, but mm -hmm. this gives you an opportunity for more people. Think about the people that were on Comic View. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't really get to use that credit as much, but you can use it enough to where maybe you can get some shows. But if you got those comic view people and some of these new social media platforms, all it can do is help your brand. Why wouldn't you want to help it? Carlos Miller was just on here and he gave a heck of a analogy about mm -hmm. how if one comes out, he said, if he was doing, it. why would you change what you do and go to the community? Right. I was like, that's crazy, but it's real. It's true. You know, that was like, a great like, Why would you change what you do when you go, he was like, Basically, He's go like, in there, and do, yeah, and do the skit, do the on skit stage. and then leave, let them come do their jokes right. and get out of Those there. Those people like, are there. The, 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 the comedy club gave you 
the place. They gave you the venue to use. You get to create your mm -hmm. show any way that you want to. Half those people there aren't really into stand up anyway. They are there for they are there for those skits and their picture. They want to be able to go to work and show their friend, hey, hey, I was at the Country Wayne show. I was at the Carlos Mill show. I was at the DC Young Fly show. I was at the Desi Bank show. I was at these shows and look at my picture. Here's my proof to show. Any type of show that you want to put together, it's your show. You can do it however you want to do it. Ha Ha Davis, that's what he did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's seen, okay, I, you know, I tried to say, it's, it takes time to get that stand-up all you're, you're not going to do it in a year. You're not going to do it in two years. You got to put in that work. So why not just be entertaining until? If, okay. And if you don't want to go to stand-up, you don't have to because guess what? They're there for you. Mm -hmm. So whatever yeah. you give them, that's what they're gonna. That's what they're gonna enjoy anyway. They're your fans. Right. They're not gonna go on the internet and go, "Oh man, he was horrible." Even at the stand up, because they're your fan. They're your family. But when you look at like when Mike came on here, Mike was like, "Faison don't know." He, he it's just like telling a a, a gorilla or animal about an airplane. They just don't a get it. A, a dinosaur. A dinosaur about an airplane. And and it's like, but there has to be some way to bridge the gap. Bring the, you know, but you know what you I said think? it was. You said it was. It was. You see that gap closing. Oh, definitely. Okay, but with hold on. Who, but hold on. But hold on. Who, who, plenty, who, of who? Plenty, plenty of different. You can't say, that but who? To. No, because they no. They trying. Right. Yeah. So I get it. So you don't. You don't want to push them back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I'm saying. But here's the thing. Okay. <laughs> if Faison Love actually said it, because I can understand you coming from a part of not knowing. Right. But if I was to sit down with Faison Love and say, okay, here's what you have to do. And this is gonna get you an extra ten to twenty thousand dollars a month. He's not gonna say, "Oh no, I'm not doing that." He's gonna say, "Oh, okay," because he already has the talent. He already knows what timing he is. is. He already Tough. he already knows, so he, he can basically make extra money with little or no effort because Reels is where Facebook is going to right now. Six second videos get um, millions of views, and you capitalize off of that. So there's no veteran comedian that if you explained it to them and showed them how easy it was, it's not gonna be like, well, no, nah, I can't use no extra ten to fifteen thousand um, dollars a month for doing a little for doing a little bit of work. I, I I find that hard to believe that they wouldn't jump on. Uh, they wouldn't jump on that. The thing is, it seems hard if you're not doing it. Doing it yeah. You know, if it's explained right, it's like, oh, there's a lot of my friends that I help get monetized who really weren't into. Right. doing it right now then like mm -hmm. ah, I don't want it but then once you you know once you get a taste of it you're like wow mm -hmm. you but know? that's why I feel that these discussions are very very important because a lot of times people don't like you coming to the person and saying this is what you need to do this is this, this this but then for them to watch the video on their own nobody's around and hear both sides and hear you know be like oh Okay. Need to be right. Maybe I need to research in this yeah. and you know hire somebody if I can't do it myself or whatever. There's no and get somebody to me. But here's yeah. the biggest thing of what people don't understand about it, because I understand once you're already on a certain level, okay, you took you a minute to get to the stand up level that you are today. Okay. This is hard work as far as you still have to put in the work and you can't be so caught up in, I posted this and it only got 50 views because you're already defeating yourself. Okay, 50 views today, 100 views tomorrow, 150 the next day. There's 150 people who got a glimpse of you who never would have. Right. Focus on that, don't focus on, I need to get some money, I need to, and this is for the more people who aren't really famous, but I see a lot of people give up before, before they have an opportunity. You have to keep pushing you and you can get caught up in it didn't get the views because sometimes you're gonna be saying oh this is good this is going viral my mm -hmm. own self i put something i've done it so much now as soon as it's done i'm like oh yeah that one going you know what i'm saying then there's other ones, that's a good filler you know what i'm saying it'll, it'll get me something I, I and still the filler got does seen. better than the right. other no. one and and you just don't you, you don't, don't know. know but i'm posting 20 reels a day i'm sh shotgun social media buddy Ooh. something gonna hit yeah Yep. You know what I'm saying? You, so, and don't pay attention because one thing I realize about this business or any business on the internet, don't pay attention to the haters who be in the comments saying negative oh, I stuff love haters. and hey, whatever. First thing I do, oh, this wasn't funny at all. I'm like, ooh, thank you. I'll work harder next time. <laughs> and I end up getting a follower. You know what I'm saying? But if you come right. back, you get no, no, don't, don't give them. That's what they want. Just thank you. You know, I'm trying my best. So you <laughs> talk to all these yes, negative I do. comments. I sure do. Thank you so much. If, if you have any advice that you can give me, <laughs> to Damn, be funny, I show you Tell, me, tell me about the, the negative comment that came across that you couldn't answer like that, that you had to really sit down and think about it and you answered. 
No, it's positivity no matter what. I don't care. Somebody comes in no, and says, still comes this across is a waste. Positive, but no, what I'm saying? This, this is a waste of my time. I can't believe this stuff is so stupid. It's right. the same response every time. Thank you so much. I will try harder. You know That's what I'm saying? Dope, forget, forget about the almost million people that are following me. What do they know? You know what I'm saying? You can have fun with it. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But stay positive don't go into the point of them they're trying to defend why you got to defend your talent when you know there's no way that you're getting these amount of numbers if if there's no talent there. no that's right you know you're a person who's looking for attention and i just gave it to you the best positive attention i can give you man i like that I man like that's it. a good spin off man i love it bro so i mean you just like i said you don't you don't see still amazing man just the uh uh the thing you do as the you are the father on the show for country wayne and what's your daughter name on there blake Blake and I didn't see that coming because I, I I knew he was coming back into this whole thing, but I didn't know how they was gonna do it. So how was that? How did you guys? It, and we can talk about it because it already yeah, happened. Yeah. But how did you guys prepare that? And just how easy it was was it to get get into the mode of uh, dealing with it? Okay, well, well, basically, um, I was already uh, casted as Blake's dad in the in the, in the very beginning. Yeah. Um, and so uh, we had took a little break. You know what I'm saying? He brought, but he brought me back in. Now this character is a very difficult character to play because you know what I'm saying. I got my swag on. I'm doing good, but I'm a bum who's borrowing money <laughs> from his daughter every time you turn around. You know, I got the nameless shoes on. I'm just a just just a broke dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm engulfing this character that Country Wayne has provided for me, and I'm going all out to do it. But I'm very different. From broke Blake's daddy, <laughs> man. But I love the character. I love and go off with it. Man, you're killing it. Opportunity and the comments are amazing. Like people are really interacting and saying that they love it. So it's it, it's great. You know what how, I'm saying? How, it's a it's a hard it's a hard deal. You know, you you basically you you got to stay in character. You got to you know do your thing. You used to doing that, but just. Uh, how, is it easy to do that with Blake? I mean, is it is it because it seemed like y'all? Yeah, I mean, just, I, I have a daughter like myself. Just, I'm a father. Yeah, you know the chemistry is there. Yeah, it seemed like you know it's there. And it's it's a it's it's a fun it's a fun character to play. And you know we we we've got some really good stuff coming up in the future. So yeah. it's it, it's it's a um. So what people don't understand about that particular show with over seven million people, seven million plus people watching, it's like being in a real soap opera, like being on HBO Max or yeah. Showtime yeah. or anything else. And the love, you know, people used to walk up no, to they me. Love like, the way they Bro, walked they up to me now is different. Blake Daddy Boy, where they, they you the other daddy on it. You know what I'm saying? But it's love and then being able to be combative with uh with, with Mike Bless and and, and and being the other daddy and, and trying to compete for the daughter's love it's um it's just flat out amazing when you look at like the fact that um country wayne is uh basically he's he's different man you don't see nobody ripping through doing the things that he's doing right mm -hmm. now uh, i'm a big fan man so you know i just wanted to just kind of ask you like you know how does it feel to be in the midst of that like that with country wayne man being that he's a you know, this guy's a millionaire, man. Right. Like, like, and and you, it didn't. It happened like that. Right. Uh, the the quote was four hundred. Uh, yeah, I don't. Why I'm not pocket watching or nothing. But the quote was four hundred and uh, fifty thousand a month. I'm like, this is crazy numbers, yeah, man. Seems, it seems unbelievable. It you seems see unbelievable. Do you see it? But the thing is, man, the dude has got a comedic mind that is you know for a fact that it's going to the next level you know there's going to be TV shows there's going to be movies which he's already got a movie that uh, that, that he just finished I heard you that. know I heard that about this that. guy the, the book is is is, is coming uh, reality show he's got all these different things that with his with, with his brain and his comedy that he's put together and for him to do it without Hollywood and now about to be joining Hollywood is it's just an amazing feat because he's really self-made. You know, people say that, but no, he's he really, really self-made. Self he took the cell phone, put it to his face, then took it out of his face, and then made other stars. You know what I'm saying? And let everybody eat. His team is always, you you, you see it. You I know what I'm saying? It. Everybody's thriving. He's never been a type of person where it's all about me, it's all about me. And it, it's hard to find people that are genuine like that who really care about you. Obviously, you, you know, I'm expecting when I got on tour with him to be, okay, well, at the shows, I see him. and I'm, Nah, every day, what's up, Jordan? What we got going on? You know, we swapping That's out love, information. Man. You know what I'm saying? He's like, Jordan, this is what you need to do. I'm watching the doom. That's love. Everything that he's told me to do has always been right 
right on point. Sometimes I was hard headed. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I thought I knew it. <laughs> I come back and do the things that he told me. So when you got somebody like that, if you round somebody making money and you ain't making money, oh, it's you. Mm. Oh yeah, it's you. You should be, and not only just the money, but the knowledge. But right. you, know, you can't replace that. Man, this, it this guy's so so dope because of the fact that he'll take time and he'll sit in front of the screen and he'll 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 take it to a spiritual level. Yeah, Bible study, and, and Bible Who study, right? Bible study and, study and, and see, you don't see you don't see this. Most people don't even let you see when they're doing something yeah. like that. He's made it cool to even love God. You know what I mean? Jesus is Jesus popping. Is popping. And Jesus I, I think popping. that's dope, bro. Like, you got to have that because of the way that the internet is permeated with the evil that's coming out yeah. through, through the streams. To have him interjecting something about God is spectacular. Yeah, and he's always been about that. He ain't trying to, he's never did that to try to get, no, he's always been about that. I've seen that from him from day one. You know, I wish I read my Bible every day the way he did. I wish I could sit up there and pretend that, and he's a, he's a real person, but he'll call me up. Yo, I'm about to read this word. You want to give us a head? Yeah. Every time he's done that, something boom. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Turn around, something good go for me. So for a person to be that spiritual but never judge you, that's that, that. That's the type of friend that you want. Right. You know what I'm saying? And a person that want, as soon as they get some information, you know how people get information, hold the information, don't want you to win. Mm -hmm. He's right on. Hey Jordan, just found this out. I just found that out. You know what I'm saying? And a person that's on this level easily could be like, okay, well everybody's trying to get my stuff, so they isolate mm -hmm. themselves from the world. Wow, man, Not I think that's what God has for you. God has for you. That's it. Wow, man, and and you know, like I said, this is something that, like I said, it's different, uh, but it's needed. And like I said, I, I'm a big fan. I've been a big fan ever since I started watching him, watching you, watching the movement, man. You guys are spectacular, man. Um, I want to say also, let me back something up and go on and uh, get to shout. I got to shout out uh, my boy Jesse McDonald. I always got to do that because he, he always have, uh, you know, he linked me with the right people. He's the reason sure. I, was, I got to meet you. And I always just want to acknowledge that. Cheating ass Myron been on the set. You be on the set. It's going down, man. Every boss time. Talk 101 with a boss. Just talk, man. So let me so ask, I know, go ahead. I know you're a very calculated person, mm -hmm. so or, and goal oriented. So where can we see you in the next year, two years? The what year. you have planned coming up? Um, definitely a, a lot more writing, a lot more producing. Um, I got my show actually is coming up September the twelfth. So make oh. sure y'all tune in. I know. Yeah, what's happened. the name of that I had, show? I had to go ahead and plug that thing. A shameless, yeah, shameless plug. plug. <laughs> What's the name of it? The Jordan Jackson Show, Monday through Friday from 7 to 9 prime time. Going to have some of the Is greatest. Huh? Is it going to be live? It's going to be live. And I got wow. some, some, some of the, everybody I called, I got you, Jay. I got you, Jay. September 12th, the first show, opening show, got the big homie, Country Wayne. You already yeah. know he's coming through. Oh, you already man, know what it is. I'm trying to get Country is. Wayne. I'm jealous <laughs> as hell, man. I'm Damn. Like, I got you, bro. You say you coming. I'm coming. Hey, I'm, coming uh, I'm coming in a, on the night. If yeah, I can get him, that'd be great, bro. So many people. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, you know, Mike Bless, of course. Oh, I yes, got my uh, boy, Courtney man. Lee's. Uh, uh, of course, my, my crew. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, they yeah. always rock with me. Munchies, Kelly Kells, uh, 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 Cheating Ass Myron, mm -hmm. Habaka. You know, all, <laughs> all my people, you know what I'm saying, are going to come out. And, you know, I'm looking forward to this. I've been trying to do this. Over 90 million homes where, like, the lady wow. who reached out to me was like, listen, I want to produce your show. I want to make sure uh, uh, that we do it right. And so, you know, Ruku, Apple TV, all platforms is going down. So make sure y'all support Man, that's that. love. Jordan Definitely. Jackson show is coming, baby. And you're going to be located in one spot when you film, or are you going to take it on one the road? One spot, and then, you know, people will be able to come. come up. To it's you. easier for me to get to my guests right. rather than have them have to come to Atlanta every time. That's so. right. Man, just love it, man. And the fact of the growth, man. Yes, sir. You got. I mean, how long have you been at this? Uh, eight years. Eight years, mm -hmm. man. Did and you I'm ever four think, years professionally? Did you ever think that you would be where you are today? Um, I knew that I would be in the. I never thought. First of all, I did not see uh, Country Wayne coming right. and and taking me up under the wing and literally saying, "Hey, I'm about to take this trip. You want to ride with me?" Mm -hmm. You know, because people say that all the time. First time he seen me, he told me that. But I, you know, wow. people say that. I thought he was LA and me. You know how people do. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 My fork in the, in the spoon. I'm not in the you know what I mean? So I thought it was one of those moments. It wasn't. Everything that's going on, um, being working with the people that I work to, they're so, so genuine, you know, that are family and friends and being able to see the growth in them, um, them helping my growth, me helping their growth. It's just it's 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 a, 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 a just an honor and a privilege to be 
in a situation where you get to be yourself and be accepted as yourself mm-hmm. and be able to make the world laugh in the in the um, times that we are now because laughter is needed more time than Man, ever right needed. now. Man, it's so needed. You want to go on? So, um, you... Okay, which daughter is older, your true daughter or your play daughter? <laughs> <laughs> no, my my real daughter is that. Is older. Wow. Okay, cuz I was I was thinking I'm like, well, maybe your play daughter, the things that you go through with her will help I got prepare a same you. Daughter that's the, the same age as Blake. So that's, oh, wow, that's that, live. Yeah, I got five kids. Wow, that's live. Yeah, four girls, one boy, and it don't matter how many baby mama. <laughs> four girls. <laughs> wow. Man, yeah. you know the, the Is he the, junior? Yes. Hell yeah, no, junior. I wish. Yeah, junior. Yeah, junior. Yeah. junior softball, junior <laughs> <laughs> football, junior basketball. All right, let's get to the, let's get to the no, nuts and bolts, man. Just help somebody, man. You know, like on Facebook, man. Some of the things what we've been trying to figure it out. You mm-hmm. know, just give us something to you know help us to understand how we can build uh, our platform a little faster. Okay. Uh, we're we're p- posting maybe once a day right now. Two, three times. Two, sometimes. three times. Sometimes. What do we need to do to get that page? When we got the country. Content, of course, right, you know course. that. What do we do? You know what I mean to try to get this page up to where it needs to be. And all of our people need to help us too. That means they got to go on there and like the page. We are right? Boss Talk Podcast One on One on every single platform. You go on any platform and look us up, and like, subscribe, follow, do all of that. We would so 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 greatly appreciate it. Yeah, Boss so, Talk One on One. So tell us, like it. Give me the spiel. So biggest thing that you um, that you can do right now that's immediate mm-hmm. uh, 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 results is reels. Okay. okay, so you 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 post as many reels as you can. Make sure that you're going live once a day. That's if the you part can, we have If you can do it twice, that's dope. Uh, don't always make it. What about you know, yourself? Two people talk. You know two what I'm people saying? come up, man. That's discouraging, bro. Right. It don't matter. Yeah, it is. It'll be very four tomorrow. Don't get but caught I'm just, up. I'm just being real. This is what right. people but think. Guess what? Two It'll, people on this. Oak. So what? Entertain those two people. That, that's that's the name of the game. You <laughs> or know what when I'm they come on and just fall off. And, and you gotta remember, there's more people that are gonna come. <laughs> two and come. Two, no, no, no. And that's not the truth. Then they drop off. But then one come. Then somebody get on the advice. You know what they say? I'm trying to give. I'm trying to give him advice, baby. Let him stop. Discouraging, man. It's very discouraging. Don't man. be discouraged. But don't get caught up in the number. Be right. caught up in being informative. Be caught up in what y'all got going on. Be caught up in getting the engagement going. You two people, where y'all checking in from? You need okay. to build. Okay. You need to build that knock down. Don't forget, once you post it, there's more people that are coming mm-hmm. to see it as well. They just there was only a couple people. So if you're only getting two people at a certain time, go live at another time. You know what I'm saying? So that you can actually just just mark it down. Okay, well, I went at this time. It was eight people. Okay, so this is way. And then you may go another time. You know, find out what the analytics are for your page because it might not even be what, what you think it is. It just could be the wrong timing for the actual page. You know what I'm saying? So build on that. Do your reels. Post your content. Go on your followers' pages and show them love too. Don't make it all about yourself because mm-hmm. a lot of people forget that. You know what I'm saying? Go in there and comment. It ain't take you nothing to comment on somebody's right. stuff. When you're going through the reels, <laughs> funny or so. not. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Go through and engage with those. That'll make more people because you know they're going to appreciate that. When the people are putting their reels, they're discouraged too. So if you see, oh wow, blah, 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 they gave me a comment. You know what I'm saying? Show them that love. Now, of course, when I do it, it it's a little bit more, but yeah. still, People appreciate the fact that you're supporting them as much as you want them to support you. Which one's more important, the reels or just the posts? Thank you. Hmm? Which one's more important, the reels, posts, or stories? All of it's all important, but the reels is what's will we'll grow you faster grow but you, you need faster. it all you need it all, you do it and all. Is, it better, is it better to do it on your like page as your business page or your personal page which one works hey, you're better you're doing both it ain't gonna you know what I'm saying it's not gonna hurt nothing you know because everyone, a lot of people well two people that I've known so far they have their personal page and they monetize. have their like page but they get monetized on their personal page quicker than they do on yeah, their yeah I mean it, it happens I'm, I'm monetized on both and, and thank which you Jesus one? Facebook y'all <laughs> did that mean well won't he do it <laughs> We've already done it. Which yeah. one monetized first for you, though? Yeah, my like page. Oh, I, okay. I just, like I said, I, the reason I was at doing like earlier, those are the things that people are thinking. When you, mm-hmm. when you, what I was telling you mm-hmm. is when you see two people on there, and when you, when you, you like, uh, it's, it's very discouraging. But see, at the end of the it's day, a great time to see it now. You at know, the end, end of the nice day, slow instead of end. <laughs> I think it's about me finish. Listen, my show go like that, don't it? That's the way this damn show go. But I just, I just know that that at this time, you know, when we're doing it, 
we've been trying to figure it out now. Let's go to Instagram now. I'm just trying to get all of it out of you because you dope at what you do. Your explanations help a lot of people. And I seen that last time he was on. I'm like, man, that's, that dude's good at that. Everybody ain't answering them damn questions. With you even wrote a book about it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Right. So that's and why tell I, our fans again, what's the name of the book? Uh, how to Socialize your, and Monetize Your Social Media Platforms. It's on Amazon. It will be the best $10 you ever spent. spent. Mm -hmm. And I made it affordable, you know what I'm saying, so that people can use these things. And these things actually work. I, you know, I got proof. I got friends, you know what I'm saying, who weren't monetized that are monetized. You yeah. know, so it if you got to put in, you have to put in the time, but you're you're gonna you were gonna post these things anyway, especially if you're trying to build your business, you're trying to build your brand. So if you have a brand, if you have a, a, a barbershop, if you have a nail salon, if you if you're not doing reels that are catered to that, then don't do funny stuff. Just do stuff that are reels that'll get people to your page and want to come to your place of business. Right. You know what I'm saying? You want to do you want to do if you're gonna do skits. That's great, but everybody has to wear, have the boss, <laughs> the boss, boss talk one on one shirt on. on. You that's want a right. brand, brand, brand. That's right. That, that's that's what I like about you. Like I said, the things that you explain is it seems like I can go do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, yeah. you, I got to do it. Like I, I can do people. it. You know what I'm saying? Consistency. <laughs> I'm so tired of hearing because I'm consistently tired of hearing that. Okay, <laughs> give me some more things right. that I can do that actually work. How long ago you wrote that book? Uh, probably about two years. Has anything? changed or needed to be added to that book Heck that you yeah, found man. Of course. <laughs> you know what I'm saying Easy. value 2 coming out I ain't gonna do no edition <laughs> that, right? that, that, that dollar gone <laughs> no, I, 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 what about Instagram for us what, what, what do we need to be doing same thing it's, it, it's reels go live stories you know let people into your life you know with the stories you know just you know uh, when you wake up, as you're preparing for the for the next interview, all this stuff, because people want to know that you're a real person. So that's where you get your connection from. It can't be every time you go to your story, hey man, make sure y'all check out the interview for the. That doesn't make you a person. You know what I'm saying? If you go in there, I'm like, well, I just woke up, man. We had a couple. Of let them inside your world. You know, you ain't gotta let them all all up in it. But you know what I'm saying? Get the connection. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Get the connection with your fans. What suppose if you're like me who sometimes feel like I'm boring and nobody gonna wanna hear nothing I have to say. Well then if you feel that you're boring, then be informative. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So because you have the experience of running your own podcast, because you have the experience, so you can you can wake up and say, Okay, here's tip one for wanting to get it started. You know what I'm saying? Encourage people. Don't mm -hmm. talk, don't keep putting it off. You know, there's always what well, people don't understand, yeah. content is key. That's right. And it don't gotta be funny. You know what I'm saying? It could just be informative. It could just be uh, 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 just inspiring. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It could be uh, uh, recipes. You know, whatever your passion is, that's still content. You, you, you a barber here. Here's how to cut your own hair. It's a tutorial. You know what I'm saying? Then, then you, build, you build through that. So content is key. Not it's not really. going nowhere. It's cut. not going nowhere. So however that you can do that and still get your brand across, hey, this is... Boss Talk 101, tip one. Okay, you're trying to get it started. How you book the people. You know what I'm saying? How to get a connection. Don't be afraid to DM somebody. You never know. Go be no. Go home. Mm -hmm. Different things. No. You, there's information that y'all have that people that are just starting out need to know. Wow. Which microphones to get? Uh, which on, cameras to get? Hold on, a uh, Boss Talk 101 is the greatest show uh, in podcasting right now. So just wanted to give it up to him. Uh, but <laughs> I wanted to add this plug. <laughs> Country Wayne's, and, and before we get off Instagram, uh, Country Wayne, at, at one point, they're not going to be on Instagram no more. We going to do that. What was, did that ever get resolved or are they still like? Oh no, they, yeah, it's going to get resolved <laughs> yeah, when they start paying them again. So, you know what I'm saying? For right now, uh, Instagram doesn't know what they're going to do. So IGTV is gone. So, you know, they were paying for the commercial just like they were on Facebook. So he pulled off of that platform. But Country Wayne was doing so good. I'm not going to say the number, but uh, Instagram still continued to pay him whether he posted Afterwards, or not yeah. because they did not want him to... To, to not on. do anything on right. the platform. So, but that's, you know, they just sent out the notifications. You know, that's about to come to an end. So, obviously, they solved and figured out a way for you to be able to post that content. But Instagram is smart. They also added another feature that's, that's very, very um, important by adding the subscriptions um, yeah, so to I've your seen page. That. I've seen that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, now exclusive uh, content can go to your subscribers. And that's another thing. 
Okay, all people that um are, that, that are subscribed to Boss Talk One Hundred One get get a T shirt. They get because they're paying nine ninety five a month right. anyway. Give them something. Give them exclusive behind the scenes that nobody else can get. And so you're you, you're building a loyal fan base through that. And I'm subscribed to a couple of pages. Lady who's really good on branding, and she you knows she does these good Q and A's and, and and contests and all that stuff. So there's another way to um build you know. But more the only interest. way you build can get your, those subscriptions is if um Instagram send that. that yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they, they said, right. They, so they, you can't I just, just go got on. mine um, right. three weeks ago. That's mm -hmm. dope, man. That's live too. Um, I think that's that that is smart on their behalf mm -hmm. to find another way to connect to a brand. And it's sweet yeah. the way they do it because now every time someone's liking or running the video, it's going to come across me. Uh, subscribe to who is Jordan Jackson's right. page uh, to get exclusive content. Yeah. Now I see that. what that does is put something else on your plate. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, these people, pay, they paying their money with these right. exclusive content, you know, so it's exactly. like, wow. They're like, I don't want to see the same thing I saw over here. Exactly. What over am I here paying the $9 for? Right, you know? exactly. Wow. But another question I was holding on to, it was the fact that, do you suggest for people to record all their content before time so they have a massive amount of content to post every day or should they just post every day as they wake up? It's just it's just according to how they want to do it. Now, me, myself, I've probably got about 80 videos right now that, that, um, that I can post, but that doesn't stop me. I'm still, I'm filming every day all day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because, I don't ever know what's going to come to where maybe I can't go out and and, and, and shoot content. Mm -hmm. And that kind of, some people are feeling with be like, oh, we're just kidding. I'm like, man, you might forget about that skit because ain't no telling when it's going to come out right. because I have so much content that I have before that. Now, if you see me some, if I post something immediately, I'm like, ooh, this a hit. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, those other it. ones, I know it might hit, it might not, but you know when, when something is right. going to go. You know what I'm saying? I, so then I might post that. But, you know, sometimes actors or actresses will get in their feelings because, you know, they want you to post it right then. That's the same as this, same as the yeah, show. Same yeah, it takes thing. time yeah. sometimes. Same thing. People, People come on and they're like, okay, when is this coming out? Tomorrow? Coming with, I'll be right. like, nah, we'll get it out when we get exactly. it out. Exactly, but see, as, as as it's your show and your editors and everybody come through and you be like, ooh, this needs to be out to the people. If it's great, it's gonna go out. Mm -hmm. If it's if it's if it's pretty good, well, when we have some downtime, if no no other good interviews come, you gonna come on. <laughs> <laughs> how, do you pick, how do you pick the people that come in your um, skits? I only work with a certain. At first, I, when I first started, I was I worked with everybody and anybody. But then you have to learn them. You have to learn the timing. So I work with a select few. It's maybe okay. six people um, in general. And the there there there's a, a lady that I just started working with. Um, Shout out to, uh, and she's from Dallas. Hey. Oh, Kia LeVette, you know what I'm saying? Kia LeVette, what up, baby? Never done skits before. Did, wasn't even interested in acting. I asked her to do it, take to great direction, and skits, I pre probably total views with her in the skit, she maybe did close to um, 30 million views. Mm. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And she's never acted a day in her life, but she could take good direction. What did you see in her? And, like, you just asked no, her to she do she was... She was what with was me all about? the time. She okay. was with me all the time. She 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 enjoyed uh uh you know of course she's a woman you right. know what I'm saying so of course you want to you know put your mm. put your clothes on and, and and look good on the videos and so I was, you know what you with me you know what I'm saying we're really really good friends Let, let's just try and show some stuff and then you know of course she kept laughing at first because you know I'm saying stuff <laughs> <laughs> but then you know after after a while you know what I'm saying she got it and man when I tell you and it's less of a headache because sometimes when you try to shoot with people who who um, feel that they may know more than you, no, no, matter, no matter what the numbers are, then you have, you, you have some head button going on. Well, I didn't have to worry about that with her because she just listened, take the directions, and boom, yeah. the videos went up where it's opposed. Well, I feel like, okay, well, let's do your idea the way you feel like you're doing, but this is the idea that I have, and I visually already see how I want it to go, so I just need to get it out and keep it rolling. I never had any problems with her on that. And then I started learning, hmm, I only really need one person. Mm -hmm. Then I, it taught me, I was like, wow. So really, if I just take a person who wants to do it, and, and they'll different listen, places. Mm -hmm. we good. Man. Now I don't have to depend on yeah. if your schedule is open or not. That's right. it, that's it, man. Thank you so much, man. How can people get a hold of you, of course? We gotta ask you that Oh, every that's right, time. you know what I'm saying? You can go to the jordanjackson.com <laughs> or you can go on the Jordan Jackson Show dot com Jordan Jackson show on YouTube shout out to my YouTube page we're at uh, 71,000 subscribers we're trying to hit 100,000 within the next two months and I know it's gonna happen man I gun. know it's gonna happen man and with your energy and with your 
Consistency. That's right. Consistency. <laughs> Don't you hate that word when you ain't doing as good as you want to do? <laughs> Why people always say that? You just got to be consistent. Keep doing it, man. Keep going up. Just keep working. <laughs> just keep working. That's how I feel. I feel you just got to keep going. Don't care about what nobody say. Just keep putting out. If they hating, just put out even more. Yeah. Man, thank you so much for coming on the show, Jordan. Thanks man. for we having love you, bro. bro. You my guy, man. It's been real, man. We gonna do this every. You my, uh, you my, uh, yeah. You you gonna be here every two months now. All right, well, I'm, talking about, I'm coming too. I love Dallas. Oh yeah, every, every I'm talking about every two months when he comes. We doing skits. We record that. It. Record that down. I'm gonna get eight movies next week. He's still coming when he back. Call, I'm coming. He gotta Boss come back. One on one for life. Talk, man. For it's life. going down, man. Awesome. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk One on One, where the bosses talk. And we out.